you're young, you think of yourself as invincible and indestructible and nothing can hurt you and you don't need any medications or drugs. Nature will be just fine. But as you get older, and I know this from personal experience, you realize that you actually have to pay attention to how your body works and you have to take steps actively to maintain it and to ensure that it remains healthy and habitable. And I think we have to start appreciating that we can play that role on Earth. We are in fact the only species that can play that role on Earth. If Earth is facing a problem, who are you going to call? I think the answer has got to be us. And climate change is in a sense our first wake-up call to that information that we humans can change planets, are changing the planets, and better get smart about how we do it. And when I look around the other worlds of our solar system, I see two lessons. One is that life is really rich on Earth and unusually so compared to the other worlds of our solar system. Uh, and we need to take, to quote a NASA saying, an attitude that failure is not an option here on Earth. What's happened over the in the Arctic over the last 30 years is it's gone from cold to warm. I, I now go running up in the polar regions on a t-shirt in the summer days, whereas before I was huddled in a, in a park. My personal experience is great. I love the, the warmth and the sunshine, uh, but it's been really tough on the ecosystems that depend on the sea ice. We will get through this one way or the other. Uh, there, there's really no other choice. Um, if we, at some point, we will be looking back on this period of history, we human civilization, and, and then we will know how we got through it. But it's hard to predict from, from the view now how we're going to make it. Our understanding is that the CO2 we're releasing in the atmosphere is a major cause, and if we can reduce that and eliminate that, we can get back to temperatures and conditions before the rise of, before the onset of climate change. One would hope that we would have the options to remove CO2 and stop CO2, but if we don't, and if we can't, and if we won't, then we need to explore alternatives, and I think it's good that people have already started doing that so that we can have a discussion that says if we don't remove or abate the CO2, then we're going to need to do this and this and this, and here's how much it's going to cost, and here are who is going to be inconvenienced by it. Uh, and so the, the notions of building walls and dikes around coastal cities and uh, relocating the population of southern Florida, uh, that entire area will be uh, underwater as sea level rises. And over geological time, it was underwater. Uh, so those, those become the costs, and it may be inevitable that we have to have a discussion balancing these costs with the uh, possibilities of action that prevents this. Uh, and I think that discussion is going to be informed by science, but it's not going to be decided by science. It has to be decided by society at large. It's hard to, to give advice on a personal scale. What should you do? What should I do as an individual? I think the most important thing I would recommend people to do is to just get smart on the issues. Uh, form, uh, learn about what's going on. Uh, learn about the science. Learn about the debate. Learn about the actions that are being considered. Learn about where humans live and, and, and how they're doing it and what's going on. Because if everyone develops a deep understanding of the issues and all aspects of the issues, we'll be a better informed society and make better decisions. Uh, and so my, uh, my recommendation is get smart on the problem. Uh, and fortunately and wonderfully, we have the internet and getting smart on the problem is now many, many times easier than it used to be. It used to be you had to drudge to the library and spend hours reading books and journals and making notes on little cards. I lived through that phase. And it is so much nicer to just be able to pull up the internet and pull information. Uh, and it's not that hard to sort out information that's credible from information that's bogus. Uh, so get on the internet, learn what's going on, and don't assume that it will be taken care of by somebody else. Get engaged. The first step to getting engaged is getting smart.